Okay, don't you? Because when you come in 20 minutes late, your manager or supervisor walks past you and says something like this, very subtly, afternoon. <laughs> All right? You now know, guess what? I have now been officially chastised. And then what happens? <clears throat> You get told to work from home. By the way, corporates didn't trust that you would work from home, that you would lie and cheat and steal. And I sat down with some top corporates, big guys, and I said, how is working from home and the results? First three months, Gavin, fantastic. We should have done this years ago. Performance is through the roof. Six months later, same meeting. How's it going? Mm -hmm. We're starting to see cracks beginning to form. And we don't know why. Well, you don't understand human nature. You see, when you were in the beginning of lockdown, you were all, as the Afrikaans people say, parat. There's no other word for that. There's no English word for parat. I'm sorry, yeah, Patrick. Parat. Look it up, my buddy. I have no idea. I can't give you the equivalent. People might, it's like, it's like Odin. <laughs> parat is Odin, is it not? Two Afrikaans words, there is no English thing. It's, it's, it's somebody who's right and correct and on point and it's just parat. Am I right? But then what happened after two, three months? Instead of getting up at your computer or making calls from 8 o'clock, something happened and you only sat down at half past. And guess what happened? Nothing. Nobody checked. And you thought, <laughs> I mustn't do this tomorrow. But guess what? Two days later, you did it again. And then in the afternoon, your son said, my, my big soccer game, can you watch me? You thought, sure. <laughs> and if anybody did question you, you'd say this, the network went down. <laughs> We had a blackout. <laughs> Am I right? Load shedding. And you know what? Nobody could do anything about it because it could have been unless they found Eskim, got a printout of your whole grid and came to you and said, <laughs> Patrick, cuck means. Um... So what happens? Because nobody's watching you, listen. Moral and correct behavior, doing the right thing because the right thing needs to be done. You, because you're not being watched, because South Africans need to be watched in order to do the right thing, all of a sudden things start slipping, things start falling. IT has to start putting in checks and balances to make sure you're doing the right thing. Isn't that sad? We need it with clients. Do you know when you go to a client and say it will be delivered, it will be dropped off, I'll send you the invoice, I'll send you the thing, and it actually gets done when you said it was going to get done. That's called moral and correct behavior. That is called rectitude. Wait, how do you reverse it? How do you reverse it?